here's something we've never done before which is actually showing a video presentation of a piece of furniture before it gets restored uh, this one's come in to us from a customer that we've had for oh, for decades really uh, uh, they have a lovely farmhouse not too far away and this George the third uh, bureau belongs to them it's been in the family for, for decades if not centuries we're not quite sure but they've had it for an awful long time and they've asked us to restore it for them and from from your angle there it probably doesn't know what's wrong with it it's got loads of character it's got it's got a presence uh, and it's something that's quite desirable these days is this untouched look but the thing is with this it's completely impractical because they can't really use it anymore the whole carcass and the whole piece is, is falling apart uh, and it has been messed around with a lot mainly by the Victorians uh, and again you can say well there's nothing wrong with that but uh, we've been asked to restore it back to its original condition or what it would look like we're not going to restore it so it looks brand new hopefully you'll see that in the next video and the photos and during the process of it res being restored we want to restore it so it keeps the character and the age that lovely patinated finish uh, that is so desirable in a piece of furniture but it really is, you know, this is fit, not quite ready to go to the sort of junkyard or go in the skip, but it's not far off. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to take off, uh, well, the handles are something that we will take off, first of all, actually, is these mahogany turned handles, which the Victorians put on there. They've taken off the brass uh, handles that once that were there and put the um, these turn ones on. The reason doing it was because it was a cheaper thing to do rather than replace a piece of furniture to modernize it they put Victorian handles so they took the handles off and put the turn handles and there you have a, a modern piece of furniture in a Victorianized. <laughs> it's missing the entire side so we're going to have to cut a new piece of oak for this drawer and the back with dovetails which will be hand cut. The drawers are drawer guides need to be replaced and also the drawer runners. There's too much movement there. So I know for sure that these runners are worn away and they are the front not too bad, they always wear, they taper towards the back, and that's where the wear is the most wear because it's coming backwards and forwards here, and they sit back on themselves and then knock off this lip here that you can see which was very susceptible to being damaged and a lot of it is missing on the front of the face of this drawer here. There's a whole face, a part of the face of this drawer that's missing so we're going to have to either replace that or sympathetically restore it so it, it all blends in. We're not quite sure exactly what's going to go on there. The escutcheons, these are period escutcheons but not from this period, not from the George III, not from the Victorian. Actually, they look almost like George I, really. Um, certainly look very, George, very early Georgian in their style and look to them. So they've been replaced. And you, I can see actually where there once was a key escutcheon over the face of this. It might have been actually the only place where there was a handle. It might have had a single handle here over the lock and that would have been the, the way the drawer was pulled out and these are later replacements by the Victorians. So we'll look into that. Um, I'll open up the fall. Now the fall, if you don't open, they'll pull out the lopers and you pull out the fall on a bureau and let it drop. It causes severe stress on these hinges here and it happens to all bureaus. They always happen. Somebody will pull it out and let it rest on its hinges so the majority, I don't think we've ever seen one where they've not had damage to the hinges here. It's hardly ever that happens. This one's the same. It's missing a screw and the hinges are all loose on it. So you always have to pull out the lopers. I'll pull out the lopers. They've also been adapted. Oh. Oh, and there's a draw guide that needs sorting out. These have been adapted, as I was saying, the wooden knobs that were at the same time as the Victorian ones, but they've all broken out. So what remains of the wooden knobs is going to be taken off and we'll replace them with either possibly gilt,
brass knobs like this or little axe drops or something that's, that's right for this period. As you can see, the interior is a mess. We need to sort that out. The pelmets are missing. Um, these are these are some of the pelmets. These are pelmets. These are secret drawers, actually. They would sit up there, look like a pelmet, but actually they come out as a secret drawer. Um, pilaster. Secrets there. Um, there's a drawer. So there's a lot of work going on in here. Not much in the restoration of the finish, but certainly on the work side, there's a lot of work, work repairs to go on here. The finish itself. The finish of the actual piece we will clean off all of the varnish that you see here all of this varnish has been put on by the victorians it's not naturally this oak color this is not a jacobean oak it's not a 17th century or 16th century oak color that's coming through this darkness it's applied varnish it's like a shellac the, the uh, Victorians we used to apply to pieces of furniture that will revive the finish but every time it was applied it get darker and darker um, so this is actually acted almost like a paint really it's quite opaque it's obliterating the actual timber which you can see here this lovely oak so we're looking to get into this honey oak color which we will hand polish and wax finish and hopefully you will see the transformation. I can see the bracket foot that he's sorting out down there. There is a lot that he's doing. And now I'm in the dark. But anyhow, you get the idea. <laughs> hopefully you see the transformation.